If you are some geek, you must love to sync your smartphone with your PC. Let it be for data exchange or syncing contacts, phone manager is always convenient to get things done in no time. Now in transferring data from Android phone to PC or vice versa, you might have faced lots of hurdles. Though you can do manually, having a software makes your way cleaner than before. It not only establishes the communication between your device and desktop, but it also enables tons of other options as well. And that's exactly why today I'll be reviewing a very useful tool known as AnyTrans for Android that will let you transfer backup and manage data on any Android device. Excited? So let's get started. Now the AnyTrans application for Android is available for Windows as well as for the Mac. You can download the version according to your OS and AnyTrans is also available for iOS but in this video I am reviewing the Android version. So once you have downloaded and set up your version of AnyTrans, the home screen will look something like this. Here you will see three tabs which are Device Manager, Android Mover and Media Downloader. Starting off with the device manager and as the name suggests, it will help you in managing your Android devices. But for that, first you have to connect your Android device to the application. In order to do that, you will have to turn on the developers option by clicking on the build number of your phone setting 7 times. Also you have to enable USB debugging option from the developers option so that your data will sync properly. Once completed, you will have to connect your Android device via a USB cable to your PC and your device will show up in the upper tab of the AnyTrans app. Now once your device has been connected, you will see that the home screen will now show many options such as clone device, add content, connect to device, connect to PC and my files. Now if we talk about these options, the first one is the clone device and as the name implies, it will let you clone your whole device with just one click. But this option can only be triggered when there are two devices connected to the PC. Next up is the add content option which will open a new window and will let you add content from the local computer to the connected device directly. In the content to PC option, you can select from various categories like music, movies, ringtones, apps and other various categories and also transfer content from your device to the PC. At last, you can use the my file option to see all the available files inside your device using this tool. Next up is the Android Mover tab. This function lets you transfer file or data from an iOS device to an Android device or vice versa. So if you are switching to a new smartphone, then this feature would be really useful as it will save you from the hassle of transferring your apps and data to your new smartphone. The last tab is the Media Downloader. Now this feature lets you download online videos from various online streaming websites like YouTube, Dailymotion etc and make them fully available offline. With this feature, you can easily make your favorite video to become accessible offline with ease. Just copy the video URL and paste in the rectangular box. Then hit the download button, that's all. Now at last, if we talk about the pricing, this is a paid Android software, but don't worry, the price is not breathtaking. There are three plans for purchasing the premium license of AnyTrans for Android. A single license for the application which can only be activated for a single computer at a price of $39.99. The second one is family license for $59.99 which lets you activate up to 5 computers and the last one is the business license for $99. So guys that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you find this video useful then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.